Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, for those of you that are new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In this video, I'm sharing with you just a peek into my personal practice. When I rolled up my mat this afternoon, I wanted to have a focus on the strength and flexibility in shoulders and in the back body, just because that's where I find that I'm storing a little bit of tension with the amount of sitting that I've been doing just with the current circumstances. So that was kind of my focus, my intention, shoulder flexibility, and strength and some work through the back body. It's about 40 minutes from front to back. If you're curious what my personal practice looks like when I'm not following any guidance, then just keep watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into the practice. So we'll make our way down to the belly for prone Shavasana. Stacking one palm on top of the other and bring your forehead and feet down to rest. Start to bring the awareness into the fact that your belly is breathing. And deepen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. With a slow lift of the head, bring your finger pads to the floor. And with your inhalation, lift up the belly, the heart, and the head, dropping right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Noticing any areas of tightness or resistance. With your exhale, lower down and hover the nose, hover the face off the mat. Swing your right knee up in line with your right hip for half frog and then open up the right arm, big capital T, fingertip to fingertip. Supine twist as you breathe sweetly and deeply into the abdomen. Press your right hand into the floor, unwind, swing your left knee up in line with your left hip half frog, and then open up, supine twist. Soften your glutes, your fingers, and press your left hand into the floor, unwind. We meet in a sphinx pose. Elbows beneath the shoulders and dropping right ear to right shoulder. Think a half circle. Roll the chin towards the chest and then bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. With your breath in, press into the base of the palms, deepen the back bend. Option to walk the hands any amount closer towards the hips and the low abdomen. Keeping the chin parallel to the floor, turn your head, chin towards right shoulder, chin towards left shoulder. And we'll lower down all the way to the back body. Bending into the knees, feet underneath your knees. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips, your front ribs, and your heart. Inhale, hips high. Exhale, hips low. Incorporating the arms, inhale, hips and hands high. And exhale, hips, hands low. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Your rhythm, your pace. The inhale lifts you up. The exhale lowers you down. In your next bridge pose, hold with your hips up. We'll incorporate eagle arms. Swing your left arm beneath your right. Take a few rounds of breath and then switch it out. Right arm beneath your left. Sending the breath not only into the low back but into the shoulder blades. And lower your hips down, unwind the arms. Parallel your shins and calves to the floor. Knees above hips, press your hands into your thighs and your thighs back into your hands. Little core work will twist, right elbow to left thigh, left elbow to right thigh. Then rock and roll, make your way up to a seat. Cow face arms. Swing your right elbow high, left elbow low. Take a bind or grab for your clothing. Find what's accessible. And finding breath in the low belly, the ribs, and the shoulders. Switching it out, left elbow points high, right elbow points low. Remember that you have options, clothing, or the fingers for full expression. And for me, I like to press the base of the skull into my left forearm. I find a little more opening in the top shoulder.
As you unwind, twist to the right, bring your left hand to your right thigh and kickstand your right fingertips to the mat. Switch it to second side, right hand to left thigh, left hand to the ground. Just some mellow rotations, not trying to control it too much. Twist right, left, right, and left. And returning to the back body, feel the chin below the forehead as we prepare for wheel pose. Flip your palms, fingers towards the shoulders, and with your breath in, hips, heart, high. Removing glasses if they feel distracting. Place your right hand to your heart, focus on the strength of left shoulder. Left hand to the heart, focus on the strength in the right shoulder. And we'll explore some push-ups in our wheel pose. You lightly tap the crown of the head to the mat, and then re-straighten the elbows. Think of pressing your heart through the shoulders. And right leg extends high. You can point or flex through your right toes. I enjoyed some ankle rotations with that work. Lifting your left leg up in full extension, left leg straight. Option to rotate your left ankle. Returning to four points of contact. Feel your head heavy and then lower down. Back of the skull, shoulders to tailbone. We'll make our way up. Meeting in our high plank, the top of your push-up. There we go. So take your time as you fix your hair, one, <laughs> and then shift the weight forward, backward, forward, backward, warming up through the arches and the range in motion on the shoulders. So a little bit of articulation as you go into downward facing dog. The inhale rolls you forward, high plank. Exhale lifts you up and back. And deep bend in the elbows. Take your forearm plank and pass all the way down to the belly, meeting in sphinx pose. Right ear, right shoulder, chin towards the chest. And passing right through your forearm plank, lift your hips up, dolphin pose. Hips high, heart back. You can go high heels, heavy heels. For me, I like this pulsing. Rise on the inhale, press it back and down on the exhale. If you opt for this action, you want to focus on the shoulder shifting way far forward in front of your elbow creases. Option to stay right here or a little time to work through an inversion. Any variation of your forearm balance. For me, I like the top leg long, bottom leg bent, and that gives me more leverage, more control to play from shape to shape. And right back down to the belly sphinx pose. Feel into the neck. Feel into the breath. So come back to that same shape, dolphin pose. Shorten your stance, walk your toes towards your elbows. And you can stay there or find your tuck hops. Bending into your knees and then hop your heels a little or a lot up towards the sitting bones. You might take flight and hold until fail. Big opening on the heart, puppy pose. Walk the arms out forward in front of you. Wrists in line with shoulders. It can be the heart, the forehead, or the chin, taking rest on the ground. Allow the prana to move, the belly to breathe. Squeeze your belly towards your back, lift your hips, and then again lower down to the belly, sphinx pose. Left ear, left shoulder, chin towards chest, right ear, right shoulder. Come to the hands. high plank and chaturanga for me I went through a modified chaturanga and took 10 repetitions you might take full expression or you might skip this portion all together lowering on the exhalation lifting on the inhalation and again all the way down to the belly for iron cross past your right bicep in front of the chest and left arm out in front. 
Hook your chin on your left bicep. Breathe deeply into the belly and into the back. Feel spaciousness as the shoulder blades draw away from your spine. And then switch it out, left arm closer to the chest, right arm out in front, hooking your chin on your right bicep. Notice the brows and the eyes and allow the belly to breathe. Press into the elbows, unwind. I do apologize out of the frame, but bend into your right elbow like a half goal post arm, and then roll over to your right. This provides more opening of the right shoulder. Breathe. We'll take that to second side, bend into the left elbow, left elbow in line with the left shoulder, bending into your right knee and stamp the sole of your right foot on the ground behind your left thigh. This is a variation of your broken wing pose. If it's too much to keep the elbow bent, you can always straighten the bottom arm that is closest to the mat. With an exhalation, unwind, come back to your center point. Stretch to the wrist, press the backs of the hands into the ground, do a little wiggle with the fingers. Wrists and forearms lengthen. Sphinx pose, again press into base of palms, lifting through torso. Keep the legs active. Sensation along the spine, but nothing is painful. Nothing is jarring. Only lifting to the level that is appropriate for you. And release from the bend of the back and recline down to your back body. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. We'll find a deep forward fold, Halasana Plow Pose. Take your hands to the low back and wedge your thumbs into your hip creases, toes to the floor. And as you unwind, we counter that with a fish pose, palms under the bottom. Dig your elbows into your mat, puff up your heart and open your throat. As the crown of the head finds the floor, bring palms together and extend your arms up towards the ceiling. If it's safe on the back, straighten your legs and let them lift. Release out of your fish pose, find neutral on the spine, constructive rest. Feet to your mat, bend in the knees. And to counter, parallel shins to the earth, palms to thighs, thighs to palms. And you find perfect resistance between the two. The low back presses into the ground. And supine twist. Right foot over to the left, IT band stretch, and bend deeply into your left knee. Swing your left foot up towards your right hand. If it's safe, send your gaze over to the right. Slowly unwind, level the hips, and then bring the hips all the way over to the left. Draw your left knee up and over to the right. Straighten your left foot up towards your right hand and bend into your right knee as you swing your right foot up towards your left palm. Allow the belly to breathe, the spine to absorb. Allowing an exhalation to release the bind, bring you back to center. 
happy baby pose. For me, I'm opting for the bind of the heels, but if you'd like something softer, arches, ankles, hamstrings, a little cradle to bring us into neutral. Chin below forehead, neck is long. Soles of the feet together, reclined, bound angle. You can interlace fingers on pinky toe sides of the feet or take a deeper bind. Eagle arms, eagle legs. With the inhale, lengthen your limbs and with the exhale, crunch, pressing low back into the floor the whole time. Switching it out, second side. Inhale, limbs lengthen away from one another and the exhale crunches you. Recline, straddle, point, or flex the feet. Interlace fingers behind the skull. Your inhale, lower down. The exhale, squeeze and lift. Keeping the toes involved, feet active. And switching out the legs, frog legs, shins, calves, parallel to the floor. Reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. Wrists above shoulders. Figure four. Same concept with the inhale, lengthen your left leg and the exhale, crunch, lifting up. Switch it out, left foot over right thigh. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze and crunch. A little hollow hold, straighten the legs, point the toes, press your low back down. And apanasana, hug your knees into your heart. Hands to the belly, inhale, bridge pose. Do a little tilt of the hips, the pelvis. Option to stay in your bridge pose or as you breathe in, another round of wheel. Pressing your heart through the chest. Option to stay on the hands or walk fingers towards heels, drop down to your elbows, forearms. If that's well received, walk the feet forward and again press your heart through your chest. Feet walk back to your fingers. Slowly come back to your palms, wheel pose. Sending the weight forward, forward, forward into the toes, slowly lift up and stand all the way. If that's not happening, you recline just back down to the spine. Malasana, garland pose is where we meet. Little side body stretch, right hand to the left ankle, reach left arm up and over, this feels really lovely. Left hand to the right ankle, reaching the right arm up and over, spiral the heart open. That felt really good. Hands to the mat, keeping malasana, feet, knees and hips. You can pulse the right knee back, left knee back, and then crawling the fingers forward, bow the head and heart towards the ground. Extend your legs long out in front of you. Point or flex the toes. Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. Head can go heavy, spine can round slightly, but think more of a deep hip crease and belly breathings. If you'd still like a little more fun in the pose, press the backs of your knees down into the ground. Rotate your shoulders, wash it away, and as you breathe in, reverse table. Create spaciousness along front line. Option to hold with a still point, or we take it dynamically. Inhale, reverse your table. Exhale, hips to the floor, or pass your hips back behind the forearms. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower or send it through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, send it through. And then with sitting bones to your mat. Double pigeon, right shin above your left. And side body stretch. Crawl the hands all the way over to the right side of your space. Think nose to your right knee. Heaviness on your head. And slowly rise, switch it out. We take the left shin on top of the right. 
bow the head and heart forward and walk the hands and arms over to the left. Option to hook the chin on your left knee, releasing nose towards your right toes. Shortening of your left side body and lengthening your right. Call onto the hands, press them into the floor, lift up. And high plank is where we meet. Exhale into your chaturanga, maybe hold a little bit longer and with your inhale, upward facing dog. If that's too much, it's a cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips high, heart back and the shoulders draw down. With your inhale, squeeze your shoulders up into your earlobes and with your exhale, draw the shoulders down. Doing that a couple of times, inhale, scrunch up, exhale, down. You want to focus on the range and motion of your shoulder blades. Inhale, scrunch and squeeze up, exhale, lower down. Roll it forward, high plank. And with your exhale, pass through chaturanga, lower to the earth. Flip it over like a pancake onto your back. Adjust your clothing as needed. And hug your knees into your heart, apanasana. If at this point in your practice there is anything that feels left untouched, undone, please work out your final poses. But if you're ready to join me in your final shavasana, get heavy through your limbs. Soft on the feet and the fingers. Eyes close. And take the time to shift back into a natural breathing. Natural breath in through the nose and out through the nose. If you like a cleansing exhalation to support your surrender into final rest, take a deep breath into your belly. Open mouth, wash it away. And with that, may you enjoy your time in final rest. May you enjoy your time and chosen ease.
with kindness, bring your palms to your belly. And feel into the fact that you're breathing. Connect to the inflow and the outflow of the breath as you deliver movements to your right foot. Left foot follows. Both feet at the same time as you draw them into center. Awaken the hands and interlace your fingers. Flip your palms to the back of your space and hug your knees slowly into your heart. Rolling over to fetal pose. Take your time. You know, press your top hand into the floor, extend your top leg long, meeting the upright in a comfortable seat. We place our hands at the heart. May we move through the rest of our day with kind action. May we move through the rest of this day with kind speech. And may we move through the rest of this day with kind thoughts. And so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you. We close the practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this practice, and I will see you guys soon. If there's anything specific that you would like me to focus on in my next practice, please just let me know. I'm open to suggestions or feedback. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Whew. Yeah, that was a doozy. See you guys.